Hi, I'm Scan Users. This time we are going to take a look at alignment modes. Uh, I will be explaining each one of them and give you examples for you guys to understand it better. So we're gonna start with these three objects, a sculpture, a vase and a can. And the align modes we are talking about here are features, markers, textures and hybrid. You can understand it as aligned by the shape of the object. So if your scan object has more complex shape, it will align better. Like the sculpture we have has rich detail for the software to align. Marker alignment is by tracking the markers, it recognizes the markers and uses their spatial relationship to align the data. So it means you need to stick the markers onto the object as random as, random as possible. This is for objects that has little feature or feature in repeating patterns, like a big, big plane surface or the can we have here. But there are some situations that you can't stick markers onto the object. For example, you're scanning this face or a painting. You want to capture the shape but you also need the texture. So marker is not available here, feature doesn't work. You need to use the color pack and select texture align. It will depend on the color image on the surface to align the data you have. Hybrid alignment is just simply combine feature alignment with marker alignments. Before each frame it takes, it will check if there is any marker. If it has, it will switch to marker alignment, and vice versa. It's not very often used, but we do encounter some projects like the sculpture in these pictures. The top part is suitable for feature alignment and the bottom part requiring markers. Alignment for each different object is crucial. The wrong alignment might result in scan difficulty, low accuracy, and overall bad scan quality. You can see here I'm trying to use feature alignment for the can. It's not working well. And sometimes you even get misaligned data. Apart from all this, I know you still have some questions. What if the object has very little features and textures? and you also don't want to apply any marker onto it. What if the texture on the object is also in a repeating pattern? How can you solve this problem? Uh, well, we will talk about this in another episode. I hope this video is helpful for you. Thanks for choosing our products and see you next time.